did you try the anesthesia and the mouse before? Or is it anesthesia bedouin, sir? Bedouin. You haven't tried this before? Okay. What we are doing now is that we are uh, putting local anesthesia. It's just a green. So, open your mouth. I will take a look. Oh, very nice. You have very, very beautiful palette. Did you hear that before? <laughs> I will come here, up, and I will do it very, very slow. And the first three seconds, then you will feel a little bit. The first three seconds, and then it will be fine after that. Right side. Now we will put exactly the same on the right side, uh -huh. and then it will be finished with the anesthesia. And after the anesthesia, then we have the fun thing. Uh, it's up to you, but I'm always keen. I'm always generous with the anesthesia because it is much better for the comfort of the patient. Yes, we're finished with this procedure. Now we have the fun. I promise you, you are completely anesthetized. So it is impossible to feel any pain. You cannot feel any pain, but the other feelings you have still, because this anesthesia will take the pain feeling away, but this, the uh, stretching feeling, the uh, tension feeling, you will get uh, the tension feeling, it is very normal. As I am checking about the pressure, so if I am doing like this, can you feel anything? No. And if I push really, really hard, then you can feel the pressure, you can hear even the pressure that I am pushing, mm. but nothing is painful. It's very important now to see the mucosa. It has not to be, so I am counting now. So rugae number one, number two, number three. And just beside or distal to the number three, I'm checking the mucosa. It's very thin mucosa. It is very, yeah. It is very thin mucosa. It's very beautiful mucosa. It has not to be more than two millimeters. Never ever. If it is thicker than two millimeters, then we have to move distally in order to get two millimeters distally in order to get thinner mucosa. Okay, then we will, t uh, uh, we will do that and I will, I will count to three, just to three or to five. So go for the list of the count, okay? So then, three, two, five. So I'm filling in one, two, three. And, and I'm drawing now. And I am filling two, I'm counting to three. So I'm filling one, and two, and two, four. Okay. If you appreciated the feeling of a dropping feeling, or you can see this white tissue, very nice. So now we are finished with the drawing, very nice drawing. Then we put the piercing now, see it's okay. So if you open your mouth and it open, uh, just a second, just a second, and you can see there is no bleeding, nothing, and you can almost, you can almost no, uh, no see anything. Sometimes you will get some bleeding, but most of the time you will get nothing. Then we will put this inside the mark, inside the mark and in the right angle. It's very important to get the right angle from the beginning. And now we are starting. And, and remember to get the water to the maximum. Water to the maximum. So. Good. So I will take a break. So now I am now I am half yeah. Now I am half away. So half away, half of the piercing is inside. You did not feel anything. Yeah. But what will happen now? You will feel a little pressure on the frontal teeth. Uh -huh. It's like I am pushing on the frontal teeth like this. Uh -huh. And the more I press, I am more I press, the more the more you feel it. Uh -huh. And the better this piercing will be sitting. Uh -huh. And at last, maybe if you are very lucky today, it's not sure, but maybe if you are very lucky today. Then it will tickle a little bit inside the nose mm. at the last three seconds. But it's not sure that you will feel anything. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, oh, we get that so then we'll continue. Then we'll feel the pressure now. Can you feel the pressure a little bit? And especially on the frontal piece. Yes. Yeah. And maybe now, now I am almost finished. So then you get the tickling in the nose. One. And two, and three. So, perfect. 
7, 7 to 10 millimeters, 7 to 10 millimeters, and then I will go exactly in the suture, and then I am telling, I am counting to 3, 1, 2, and 3. It's a little bit better with a little section, uh, a little one. Okay, then I will start and yes, the water, and we can save the save like this. Yeah, and you will feel the pressure in the pillar. Okay. And now you will feel a lot of pressure in the pillar, and I'm sure you are already appreciating the pressure because you have a very good department. See, now please, please pay attention to this instrument. This instrument now is in contact with the teeth. So if I continue, I, uh, I will hit the teeth and the angle will be very difficult. So what I do is that I'm turning the instrument to the forward, and then I get a lot of space, a lot of space. So. Great. Then we are finished when I'm say, counting to three. When I'm saying one and two and three. Perfect. So the first one a little bit here. Yes. So we're finished now. So if we take a look with the mirror, we can see that they are completely parallel, completely parallel, the two squares completely parallel to each other, completely parallel. Maybe if we can do like this, just to show it a little bit more. And the most important, completely parallel to each other, perpendicular to the, to the pellet, and the neck of the, uh, the screw, the neck of the screw, the neck of the screw is just in touch with the mucosa, just in touch with the mucosa. So, and if you take a look at this mirror, can, you can appreciate how it is. They are completely parallel and in the middle and just in touch with the mucosa. Put them like this on the piercings and I will support with my finger. And they are not sitting at all, but what I do, I will turn them a little bit with my finger and they will fall into the place very easily and very nice. And they will hold, the friction is enough. The friction is very fine as very enough. Yeah. And the second one, it is completely the same, but I should see a little bit space between them. If there is no space between them, then I have to grind one of them. But if the position, if the position of the two screws are perfect, okay, then you will see a very, very, very small, very small space between them. We'll try to check the space. Just very, very small, very small space between them. And this is perfect. It means the distance between the two screws is optimal. It is not too wide from each other. They are not too close to each other. And to hold these, if we hold like this, we are deforming the impression caps. If we are holding like this, we are deforming the impression caps. The best way is holding like this. The perfect impression is there where you get an impression material in between and covering everything without air bubbles. Air bubbles, it is the worst. So what I'm doing is that I'm doing a, a cement bridge, a bridge with the cement between the two impression caps, okay? And this will help to stabilize. This will help to stabilize the two impression caps in order to get together in the right angle so they do not destabilize while we are taking the impression out. And down. So a little bit of my finger from the back of the impression caps, pushing forward, from the back of the impression caps, pushing forward, filling in between, filling in between, but not above. Filling in between, but not above. Now, breathing all what you can. Breathing, breathing, breathing. That is the most important thing. And if it is sitting very well, sometimes it is very difficult to remove because of the appliance. I will push it down. So. So, get it out. And now, the impression. If it has to be perfect, then you have to see that the impression material is completely around, no air bubbles whatsoever, and the mucosa is perfect, 
and the teeth are perfect everything is very clear in the palette and especially the impression caps coming out very beautifully like this if this is a perfect uh, impression then we will always get a little bit excess of the impression material around a little bit excess so what I am doing because you cannot put the analogs now you cannot put the analogs so what I am doing now the, the technician can also do it but I always always rely on myself better so I will remove the excess just putting like this and removing the excess and all of this excess you do not need so no problem in removing all of this so I will show you until you can see all the edges very very clearly you can see all the edges very clearly it's very important um, so all the edges you do not need all of these so now you can see all the edges can see all the edges very clearly there is no air bubbles at all and the same there so removing all of this and alginate impression perfect and you can see all around alginate all around without any air bubbles very clear edges very clear edges perfect and then we put these of course yeah. and the first thing is about is the most maybe you are most interested in, in knowing that about pain would it come some pain or not yeah it is not painful you will not feel pain but you will feel a lot of pressure so please take painkillers every six hours for two days the second thing is that uh, something cold something cold yes today and tomorrow is great now uh, I, i'm coming now to the most important the most important the most important thing is that the gingiva the mucosa okay the normal reaction of the mucosa is that they will gradually, without you know anything about it, will grow over the piercings. Mm. They will try to grow over the piercings to cover the piercings. And it happens suddenly and it happens very fast. And usually I say to my patients, 12 hours. If there goes 12 hours without you are pushing and doing the massage, massage pushing the mucosa away, then I assure you that the mucosa has grown and covered the uh, piercings. And if this happens, and if continues more than one day or two, then there is a big, big risk that you have lost the piercings. And how to push the mucosa away? By the finger, by your tongue, you cannot do it. So the best instrument to do it, the perfect instrument to do it, is your toothbrush. Your toothbrush in your home. So now you have to brush these piercings. And this brushing, it is not to keep it them clean. It is not like the teeth. So you have to be sure that you put the piercing at the right angle. So these brushes, these uh, brushes, come into contact, direct contact with the piercings. So so uh, so you are very thorough. Direct contact with the piercings, and then press a little bit, and then brush. Now the the uh, skin here have almost the same feeling as the palette. So if I do like this, how it does it feel? Nothing almost. Nothing almost. Uh, I'm doing nothing. And I'm doing nothing. And this one, now I am doing something. Mm. And you do not need a very big movement like this mm. or like this. No, not big movement. Not at all. The only thing you need is direct contact to push a little bit and to do small vibration uh, uh, movements. It's very fine. Yes. Was it okay? It's okay. You are really, really tough. You are really good. Thank you.